The first method is to simply change your video options to the lowest settings. Another thing you should do is downscale your resolution. The lower you go, the better. But the quality in game will be a little bit pixelated, not too much to make a difference though. You can also make it less of a resolution by playing stretched. This will increase your FPS even more and you will stretch the game. Some people enjoy playing stretched and some don't. Here I'm playing the game stretched. As you can tell, the door is a little wider than non-stretched. I will show you the non-stretched in a sec. The tunnel area is pretty wide too as you can see. Some people don't like playing stretched but some do. I prefer stretched and I op easier with stretched to be honest. Here's the game in non stretch As you can tell the door seems to be a little smaller. It's all preference though as some people play better stretched and some don't. The next method is to disable the arrow theme. To do this you must right click on your desktop and click personalize. Scroll down until you see Windows Classic. Click it and you're done. Yeah, it might look a little ugly, but it'll release a bit of memory which can increase your FPS slightly. The next method we're going to try is Game Booster. Game Booster can increase the FPS of your game by disabling any unnecessary programs running in the background. This will maximize your system's performance to give you the highest frames. First you're going to want to type in Game Booster and click the first link. Next you're going to want to click Download Now right below. Next, you're going to want to run through the installation process. You're going to have to create an account after you've installed it. It does take a few seconds, but it's worth it. Next, you're going to want to click boost and then click boost now. It'll start boosting your game and you'll notice a little bit of an FPS increase, maybe. You could also boost it by just running any of your games that you want to play. It'll start doing this same process that you see right now. Once you're done playing your game, you could hit the restore now button to restore everything to its default settings. Then you could just close the program or you could just keep it running. The next method is to use park control. What this program will do is force your computer to run on all your cores on any game you play. This can significantly increase the performance of your game and will boost your FPS. These tweaks are entirely safe for your PC. First you're going to want to go to Google and type in park control and then click the first link, then you're going to want to click 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your computer. I'm using 64-bit, so I'm going to click 64-bit. You're going to want to install it and run through the whole process. Once you have installed Park Control and ran through the whole process, open up Park Control. You'll notice that your Parking AC, Parking DC, Parking or Frequency Scale AC and Frequency Scaling DC is all enabled. Disable all of those and hit Apply. You will also notice that you might have more or less cores than me. It's always different for everybody's PC. Before you hit apply, you will notice that the green bars are not all active. Once you've hit apply, you'll wait a few minutes and you'll notice that they'll start going up. That means that your cores are being used and you can run any game and it should perform a little better. The next method is to make sure you have your power options on high performance. Some people might have it on power saving. You're going to want to go to control panel, click system and security. Then you're going to want to hit power options and make sure it is not unbalanced. Make sure it shows on high performance. The next method is to make sure my computer boots on all of my cores. So you're going to hit start, type in run, click on run and type in MS config. All these things are going to be in the description. Hit OK. Click on Boot. Hit Advanced Options. Then you're going to want to click Enable on that check mark and then hit 8 or you might have 4. Or you might have even more depending on your computer. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Click OK. And then restart your computer. I'm hoping at least one of these methods helped you increase the performance of your game and gave it a little FPS boost. If you would like to help me out a little, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching.